Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Diff, the Dash Investment Foundation podcast. My name is Rodrigo. I'm one of the supervisors. And today here with me, I have Hayden. How are you doing, Hayden? Hey, how's it going? Hi, 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 Rodrigo. Very good to have you here as well. One of the supervisors. And we have Rodrigo Ventura, the founder of 88 InsureTech one of the latest uh, DIFF investments. So, Rodrigo, welcome, and, and let us know, what is the insurance business, and, and why is the insurance business so important for the blockchain ecosystem? Hi, everyone. It's a pleasure and an honor uh, to be here with such a important guys here with me. Uh, so it's it's really an honor. Thank you for, for this moment and this opportunity. Um, well, in, if I may uh, just make a little adjustment, 88i now it is a digital insurer. Used to be an insure tech uh, because we we had a, a DNA of technology where uh, we were focused on uh, transforming the experience of the customer through digital technologies. That means AI, okay? That means uh, uh, IoT telematics, and this means also, of course, blockchain. And um, we, we uh, started in 2018 as an issue tech. Then uh, in 2019, uh, we entered into a regulatory sandbox in Brazil. Uh, and in October 20, we were homologated as a digital insurer, a formal insurer. In, uh, in March 2021, uh, we received our authorization to issue policies. Um, once we provide the solvency funds uh, with the Brazilian regulator and the government uh, to operate in this regulated environment. So what we are doing here, it is unprecedented. We are tackling an industry of insurance, that's uh, the cash call of the financial system. It represents 33% of the uh, profits of the uh, uh, multiple banks conglomerates. And uh, we are tackling this industry that used to treat the client as a criminal. The client, when you, ha when you buy insurance and you have to claim it, uh, you have to prove that you are a victim. You have you have to pass through a horrible process of adjustments, and you have to sh show documents. You have to uh, demonstrate a police report. Everything is manual, bureaucratic, time-consuming. In what we are doing throughout blockchain, it is transforming an insurance policy that it is in paper, that uh, uh, has its enforcement by law, and we know how fast works the law and we are transforming this uh, uh, manual policy into a digital policy with a binary code ones and zeros this means a parametrization of each business lines of insurance into smart insurance policies that self-execute execute themselves and this ultimately will become an instant claiming process so it will be pay out the promise of insurance in real time. And its enforcement now, it is by code, not by law. This completely changed the experience of the customer. And this means that now we are able, using Dash technology, uh, to operate not micro-insurance, but nano-insurance. Insurance in real time that can turn on and off in each one of the episodes of your daily life. Let's say, for example, when you ask for delivery, and when you ask for delivery in e-commerce, for example, this delivery could come to you via Uber. So it's not a official transport, let's say, but in this pandemic, it is a reality. So this uh, 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 good that you buy, it is protected. Or, for example, I took a cab, and then uh, when the trip starts, my insurance also starts simultaneously. And when my trip ends, my insurance also ends. In real time, via APIs, everything 
uh, now becomes auditable in the blockchain space. I can demonstrate a proof of insurance with a QR code, for example, without exposing my private information. Let's say I crashed the car. Then I can demonstrate I have an insurance that's here. Scan on my QR code. Okay. Then uh, I, that, uh, I'll, Please, what do you, you want to say? Yeah, something? no, I, I want you to explain. <laughs> I'm to us. A passionate, so I, I don't I stop. Want, <laughs> I want you to explain to us how, how you explained before if there's an accident and you hire the insurance, how does the cell phone calculate everything and, and settle this contract on the, on the blockchain? Okay, so thank you. <laughs> um, so, um, um one, uh, one thing is sources of information. So we receiving massive information from what I say, it is massive distribution channels, like super apps in China, Alibaba, WeChat, Alipay. Okay. In Americas, uh, what are those super apps? Those are ecosystems of mobility, delivery, fintech, and e-commerce. Okay. Connected with them in a B2B2C approach, uh, we receive through APIs with those companies the information with Uber, for example, the information of each one of the trips in real time through APIs. So with this, we are able to turn on and off the insurance in real time instead of on-demand insurance that I have to think about it and I have to turn on and off the insurance myself. So think about insurance is awful. Nobody wants to think about insurance, but everybody wants to stay protected the whole time. So to do this, uh, what, what our, our vision, it is to be able to turn insurance simple, intuitive, and digital. And to do this, uh, blockchain uh, really transformed the whole experience because uh, we, we use, in this case, Uber platform as an oracle, and as an oracle, I can uh, trigger the information of the each one of the trips. Does the trip uh, stop it in the middle because it had a crash? Then through APIs, when the crash uh, happens because the customer there says, I don't want to pay for this trip because I got involved in an accident. It is inside the app. So when they say this, instantly triggers the uh, first notice of the claim. And when that this first notice of a plane happened, for example, in the app, or when I demonstrated to you my QR code and you scan it because I crashed your car, this, when you scan it, it means first notice of a plane in real time. Then all the adjustment process via those oracles, in this case, Uber platform, I can connect there and check this policy. Really, uh, really, uh, the trip really start, uh, stop it in the middle. Yes, okay, then, I have received this information and I continue the regulation process to pay back to you the insurance in your digital wallet in real time without asking you for a police report. I don't need it anymore. So this is just one example, but could be a flight delay, for, like, for example, when you, when you take a, a flight. Um, the Oracle in this case would be uh, the, the, uh, the flight regulator, for example, that demonstrates the, 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 the timetable for each one of the flights, and there you can see publicly, transparent, with no conflict of interest, in real time, the truth information. And therefore, those many different ecosystems that we say that are oracles now, they enable us to transform an insurance policy into a parametric policy, therefore, a smart insurance policy that can self-execute execute itself. So this is one example in a nutshell <laughs> of multiple business lines of insurance that could be transformed and therefore we operate uh, micro insurance, nano insurance, which means minutes, kilometers of insurance in real time. Self so turn it on and off. So Rod Rodrigo, let me, uh, is this active already or is this, uh, so is this it already is. in production? It is. So you guys it is are active are in life now. Are now great. that's awesome. Yeah. So do you got you guys it's pay awesome. out in cryptocurrency? Are you guys paying out in crypto we, now or not not at this moment, but we will okay. go back again. So we, we started um, 
as anyone else using Ethereum. That was the first smart contract that we, we set it. And we were receiving payments in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Stellar. Nobody wants <laughs> because what everybody was holding. So uh, uh, I think this is the moment where we are creating new layers in the blockchain with services where people can transact and, and, um, and uh, notice the difference of the services that blockchain offers to transform this customer experience in real time. So this is been building now. In my case, it's been building for three years already. So uh, we use many different blockchains. Uh, we pass through all time highs. We passed through situations as, for example, the cost of the transaction was higher than the cost of the policy itself. So we switched networks. Uh, then the other networks, we have a lack of a space in the block to register the policy information. So we've been forged in a fire in learning throughout this process. And we saw in Dash, in, in most of all now with the super block by the end of September, the possibility to do smart contracts with Dash, with su super high speed transactions um, in, uh, in, with a very accessible cost of transaction to operate non insurance and also space to register the necessary information of the policy. So, and also a marvelous team together to, to design this together because we don't do anything alone. I mean, so, it's it's amazing so, to see how the, the the Dash platform and 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 the layer where you can store the Dash drive basically just came for a perfect fit for the business model that you were creating in parallel. Totally separates from the Dash, but now it's it's a solution on both sides. And, and let us know a little bit as well who, who is using your your product at the moment. How many clients do you have? What are your partners? Okay. Uh, well, we, as I mentioned, throughout those ecosystems of mobility, delivery, fintech, and commerce, uh, we started with uh, 99 taxes, which is the biggest competitor of Uber in, in Latin America. And um, they have over a million drivers and 20 million customers um, for car, car hailing. Um, we uh, signed it with Big Bay Digital Bank. They have 49 million customers in their base, this digital bank. And um, we are signing also with a, a number of uh, fintechs uh, because now in Brazil we have, uh, I think it's worldwide, this phenomenon of open banking and at the same time open insurance and combine it, they make open finance, which which is everything related with the DeFi ultimately, but uh, this is gaining traction worldwide. And uh, we are able to operate digital insurance now. So this is this is the super difference uh, when you compare with other companies that operate traditional insurance. We, we have the technology and everything is on cloud, secure, scalable. And with this clear vision, of blockchain technology. So we we tested five different networks um, and we took one step back to enable traction. This means for the network, massive adoption of blockchain. In my view, um, people don't have to know TCP IP to be able to use an email and neither to know the bits and bytes of blockchain to experience the, this, this transformation of transactions that are, or contracts that are liquidated in real time. So they can enjoy the benefits in using uh, uh, blockchain without even knowing. So uh, with, with this non-insurance policies, for example, uh, let's say a, a Uber driver, he doesn't have to know a thing about, about blockchain, but his insurance policy is auditable, it's traceable, his insurance policy, it is immutable, and the policy will self-execute in real time without any uh, conflict of interest, without any arbitrage. So this really changed the game. Comparing to the normal traditional insurance business, 
and now the blockchainization of this business. Who today do you see that can be uh, some some other company that's that's doing something like you guys are doing? Okay. Um, well, um, there is one company that I I do respect the guys. Name it Etherisk. In Etherisk uh, operates Flight Delay. Um, there is some initiatives of uh, crop insurance related to the weather, for example. So um, what do you what do you see happening? It is one specific business line of insurance that they can regulate it uh, with information in the internet. In what we are trying to do, I, and this is I think we are quite unique. It is uh, to uh, create a subscription plan as a Netflix of protection with multiple business lines of insurance inside this umbrella in a monthly subscription uh, that self-renews itself at the term. So uh, it's not an annual plan, but it, it is a subscription. As long as you like it, you are covered. No, e e extremely, extremely interesting how this business model is changing, how we see blockchain and especially insurance. And and now with the investment from, from the Dash Investment Foundation, of course, the technology of the Dash protocol behind it. What what are you guys going to do with this? Explain to us in a, in, a, in a way that we can understand because it's a very complex uh, system and I don't know much about insurance policy and how the whole process works. Well, I think it is a, a perfect business case for uh, blockchain. Why? Because uh, it's a financial business. So what we transact, it is trust and an option for the client to be able to notice a claim and receive money back if something happened with it, with them. So this is a, a case of trust related to financials. It's perfect for blockchain and, and really transforms everything. And, and um, I don't know if I, if I got in the line of request, please say it again because... <laughs> How how, how how important is this business? Because it's a good combination of what the Dash platform is being built, and it's exactly what you guys were looking for to settle the contracts. And how complex is the insurance business that us well, in the blockchain space, now we can provide a, a solution for something as highly complex as what you guys are building? Uh, I, I think, um, well, insurance, is, it is a super complex business because it tackles um, multiple different types of risks. As I was mentioning briefly here, for example, car hailing rides, uh, crop insurance uh, with weather, a flight delay, you name it, it's a risk. And if it is a risk, and if there is something uh, uh, that is willing to accept the risk in something, someone else that's willing to sell the risk, there is a potential market for insurance. So, uh, let's say a, a cyber risk of hacking your digital wallet. It is one risk. And um, so there is multiple business lines that we can operate and really transform uh, how the industry operate and with this give access to millions of people to, to, to enable so, um, social inclusion. Can I, can I and, stop and, and, a question real quick? But just let me go, just go finish ahead, one, ahead, one, one ahead, aspect. Uh, I wanted to add, uh, what is the difference with Dash? I think it is the team. Of course, the technology is amazing. Uh, and there is several amazing networks uh, and projects operating. But it's not just the project itself. It's also the, the, the team that is behind it. Super qualified team. And this possibility of working together it is something that really got my attention. Is, uh, I think. This this sounds great. Um, so I had a question for you with respect to um, uh, how you guys handle the cryptocurrency. Are you guys um, in the insurance, being in the insurance business, does being in the insurance business and adding a cryptocurrency or blockchain now, does that make you uh, or, or uh, get you into the market making business? Are you guys going to be actively buying and selling cryptocurrencies to manage your positions within uh, the insurance industry or, or how does that work exactly? Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. 
in um, uh, before going to your question, I will answer the uh, questions that I, I remember. The use of funds, okay, where okay. are you going to use the funds? So the use of funds, uh, 5% it is digital marketing, uh, 45% it is uh, analytics, actuarial analytics in, in, in um, uh, data science behind it to, to gain uh, customer insights, and 50% it is IT fundamentally IT de developers. This is the use of resources. And um, please, Keaton, say, say it once again. Yeah, so uh, being a, being an insurance provider in the, and using cryptocurrency or utilizing cryptocurrencies, does that mean you guys are going to be um, uh, market making or um, a market participant within the, the crypto industry? Are you going to be buying and selling cryptocurrencies? Do you guys have a uh, like a market making desk or a market uh, market desk or how does that work for you guys? Okay, when I started, uh, I started signing partnerships with exchanges. And what was happening by the time it was that I was switching crypto into fiat instantly to do not hold the risk of, of, of fluctuation. So this was the experience in the past because we were at the best digital brokers. We were not insured when we started. And then, uh, as I, I needed to transfer for a former insurer, Fiat, the insurer never know that the, we were operating crypto, liquidating instantly, and then paying Fiat for, for the insurer when we started as a broker. So we do not hold crypto by the time. But, of course, the idea, it is uh, to enable crypto insurance to happen. Therefore, it doesn't matter the fluctuation of crypto because Crypto is the ultimate uh, uh, and final payment, and uh, and therefore we can uh, operate insurance worldwide and do payments in, in real time. Um, we, in, in our uh, following steps, what I wanted to do, I wanted to create reserves, yes, for the insurer in crypto. So it means holding assets uh, to cover uh, crypto insurance policies in crypto. I wanted to pay salaries in crypto, and I'm already in discussions with the regulator here about holding uh, crypto positions. And this has to pass through uh, the Ministry of Finance in Brazil to uh, accept crypto as a form of uh, guarantee for the insurance. It's not accepted as a guarantee. So as an insurance company, I can invest in crypto hold it crypto, but I cannot use crypto as a guarantee for solvency of the insurance. So we, we are at this is, moment. Is that something is, is that is that something that has to be applied for or is that something in the pipeline or is that never going to happen? Or do you think it's not? Uh, no, it, it is. It is uh, uh, we already apply for. Uh, it's something that we are in discussions. We depend on the government, so it takes a while to do so. In, so for, for this form of insurance, I can hold assets in crypto. I can operate uh, crypto as a form of payment, and I can also liquidate it in crypto if uh, the insurance policy says so. Okay, then I can do it. But uh, I will still have to double my solvency holding crypto and fiat at the same time because I need the fiat solvency funds accessible to the government uh, to pay for the risk that I am at the So I have to, to hold it twice. Very interesting. And, and what's what's next now for, for 88i? What do you guys have plan ahead and the expansion plan? Um, what is next? Uh, I, I think for the next year, um, the idea it is to be op operating those smart contracts in Dash, this is the goal. So for this year, it is uh, traction, traction, traction in solving the puzzle of this B2B2C digital marketing. Because in each one of the clients, we, we, we have to gain insight with, with those, each one of those fintechs in mobility companies and so on um, and learn with A-B testing in each one of those di different ecosystems, how to enable traction with them. So this is the, the challenge for this year. Traction, traction, traction. Okay. 
once this, this is done, then for the next year, uh, be fully operable uh, with Dash uh, with as much confidence. And then uh, I, I started with traction, proved the thesis, uh, leverage uh, Dash blockchain in, in, in crypto payments, then will be the moment to, to go along. Excellent. Do you want to actually leave everybody uh, the official website for 88 and also your contact information? And uh, Haydn, any other questions before uh, we, we go? Um, nothing for me. I think I'm pretty good. It's, it's mind-blowing, isn't it? What, what is it possible to do today with insurance and the blockchain and what those guys are trying to build? It is. It's groundbreaking. Yeah, go ahead, Ventura. What's the official website for us to contact for anybody who wants to contact you guys? The official website, it is 8AI, uh, Seguradora Digital, so it means 8AI Digital Insurer. Um, this is the website. And uh, my personal email it is ventura at 8AI.io. Excellent. Once again, everybody, we got to leave the website and the link in the description below. Thank you for participating, and we'll be back next week with some more announcements. Don't forget to follow our social media, also uh, on the YouTube channel and the Twitter account, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.